In men, there is no direct counterpart to menopause because, unlike women, men do not experience an abrupt cessation of reproductive capability and a sudden drop in sex hormones. However, after the age of 40, men's testosterone levels, the primary male sex hormone, begin to decrease gradually by about 1% per year. This condition is referred to as andropause. The first and most common symptom of andropause is a decreased libido. As testosterone levels decline, men's desire for sexual activity diminishes, marking the initial sign of andropause. Typically, these symptoms can start at any point after age 40, although the gradual decline in testosterone begins after 30 and becomes more noticeable after 40. Reduced libido is not solely caused by declining testosterone levels, stress and depression also play significant roles. Erectile dysfunction is commonly associated with low testosterone levels due to the reduced production of nitric oxide, which affects the dilation of blood vessels, leading to erectile dysfunction. This condition affects approximately 40% of men after age 40 and about 70% after age 70, similar to the rates of decreased libido. The second most common sign of andropause is decreased energy and fatigue, which lead to persistent tiredness, lack of motivation, and a significant impact on daily life, work, and activities. This occurs because low testosterone levels reduce mitochondrial activity in cells, the powerhouses of energy production, thus diminishing energy output. Additionally, low testosterone levels decrease red blood cell production and oxygen delivery to tissues, making fatigue and tiredness more prevalent complaints among older men. Mood changes and irritability, manifesting as mood swings, lack of focus, and depression, are the third symptom. Testosterone influences the brain and the production of neurotransmitters, playing a crucial role in motivation and get-up-and-go drive. Its deficiency leads to decreased motivation and affects several important neurotransmitters, including dopamine, related to motivation and reward, serotonin, related to well-being and calmness, norepinephrine, related to focus, alertness, and motivation, and the opioid system, responsible for general well-being. The fourth symptom is the loss of muscle mass, as testosterone is a key element in building and maintaining muscle. Consequently, men gradually lose muscle mass, and their body fat, particularly abdominal fat, increases. The fifth sign is weight gain, especially in the abdominal area, and sometimes gynecomastia, or breast enlargement, occurs. This happens because, as testosterone levels decrease, the relative level of estrogen remains elevated, promoting the growth of breast tissue. Muscle mass decreases by 1-2% to per year after age 50. Generally, andropause, also known as late-onset hypogonadism, is diagnosed if two separate measurements of testosterone are lower than 300 in a DL, indicating total testosterone deficiency. Treatment for andropause, if testosterone deficiency is confirmed by laboratory tests, may include testosterone replacement therapy. Injectable testosterone is typically administered every one to two weeks, while transdermal patches and gels are applied to the skin. However, testosterone therapy has limitations and may increase the risk of prostate cancer, sleep apnea, and heart disease. Oral testosterone is not recommended due to inconsistent absorption and potential liver toxicity. Boosting testosterone levels naturally can be achieved through exercise, particularly resistance training, which can increase testosterone levels by 10 to 20%. Regular exercise, including resistance and aerobic training, plays a crucial role in maintaining baseline testosterone levels. Diet is another important factor, with a focus on proteins, carbohydrates from whole grains, and healthy fats to mitigate the decline in testosterone over time. Supplements like DHEA, zinc, vitamin D, fenugreek, and ashwagandha can also influence testosterone levels. DHEA may increase testosterone by up to 20%, though effects can be negligible and long-term use is not recommended due to potential side effects. Zinc can raise testosterone levels in those with a deficiency, with a typical dosage of 25 to 30 mg daily, 
but prolonged use at high doses can lead to toxicity. Vitamin D can significantly boost testosterone in deficient individuals with recommended dosages between 1,000 to 1,400 IU daily. Fenugreek and ashwagandha have shown moderate effectiveness in increasing testosterone levels and improving sexual function, with daily dosages considered safe for short to medium term use. However, ashwagandha may interact with certain medications, so it should be used with caution.